all right this is donald joel and i will be showing you how you can go about your measurement when it comes to designing most graphic designers don't actually know how they can measure their their designs once it has to do with uh, designing for print so this is how you measure each of your papers or your 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 banners if you are printing your designs so that's what i will be taking you through in this class so once you come to this place okay the software i'm using is scratch draw and you can also do this in your photoshop also so if you come to this place your units your drawing units click on this arrow is going to fly down okay so you see your measurement in inches in millimeters in uh, pixels or points this one is points you see your pixels you see your detox you just see your feet you see yards miles centimeter meters kilometer and so on and so on now i understand reading inches a lot and i also understand reading uh, centimeters and i also understand feet your your outdoor printed works like your banners your b-boards they actually print in the feet while your hand bees and any other book uh, work you are doing that has to do with paper they are actually measured in you can measure them in inches if you understand reading inches and you can also measure them in centimeters if you also understand centimeters that's both sides of your normal ruler you get so you can convert from inches to feet and you can also convert from feet to inches and to centimeters do that with your google converter on your if i'm designing um a flyer let's say the flyer is a5 now if you come here you have different sizes of papers you have different sizes of papers from your a4 to your just name them your envelope it's just for you to choose anyone you are working with you get but if it's a custom paper what you have to do is to come here and enter the measurement you get come to this place you have your horizontal and your vertical dimensions here for your page uh your page your printable page so you enter them here for instance if i want to design a flex banner for let's say 40 inch uh, 40 uh, feet by 20 feet what i have to do here i don't have to change this to feet because if i do if i change it to 40 feet by 20 feet this work is going to take me time to load whatsoever i'm doing here is going to take time to load you get now i can't even find my what my console no matter how i increase this font you can see the two the the console on 200 so it's going to take time to load you get this work is going to take you time to load so what you do is this design the work in inches 40 feet by 20 uh, by 20 feet do that in inches that means you are using 20 uh, 40 inches by 20 inches to design this job so that whatsoever you are doing here you can see it properly you get now after designing uh, what you have to do is you are going to be exporting this work uh, let me add um, the background to this what you have to do is you are exporting this work in feet now if I'm going to export this now since I'm printing a, uh, a billboard what I will do is this I'm going to change my dimensions back to feet and I will do this 40 feet by 20 feet you get so you can see that this thing is very small so I'm going to be changing these dimensions and remember you have to select all your work and you group so we have it like this stretched out but if I am to export this work the way it is now because it's in feet it's going to take a very long time for the work to be exported 
So what I normally do if I'm expecting a large work like this is after stretching it out to fit like this, I will still have to reduce from both ends like this and I will export it this way, the way it is. It's not going to take me time. The quality is not going to drop. The, the clarity is not also going to drop and the size of the work will be good for printing. Nothing is going to affect the job. You get? So, once I take it to the printing press and they place it on this dimension, this dimension is going to work fine. And once they print it out, it's going to be very, very, very okay and very, very sharp. So, this is what I do. You get? When you are designing in, uh, for, your, for your banners, what you do is design in inches so that the work can load properly. Then from there you have to convert your job to to fit and you will get the correct uh, quality of the job you are looking for. So people will say the quality will drop. The truth is it won't drop. This is what I've been doing for a long time. It's not gonna drop. You get so some people will tell you how will I know the dimension for let's say a wedding card or uh, a business card. The truth is all these things they are they are custom custom sizes you get all business cards are not the same business card is normally 3.6 inches by by 2.3 inches 3.6 inches by 2.3 inches this is a standard size for a business card you get you can go online do your research on all these things you get the perfect um, sizes most wedding cards are are eight by five inches some are nine by seven inches just like that so after buying the card what you have to do is use your ruler take your measurement and that's it bring your measurement come to your computer and you get what you're actually looking for so for different business uh, business cards have different sizes different wedding cards have different sizes and that's the way it is they are designing for your your t-shirts you have to measure the area you are printing on then get the size so that what you are designing will be scalable you get so this is how we do these things for your dp size is normally uh, six by six inches you can use six by six inches for your your square and all that for Instagram post, it's normally it's normally six by five inches, like uh, five five horizontal like this, and six vertical. This is for your Instagram. You get before Instagram was the uh, post was actually a square, but these days is actually it's no longer a square. It's actually a rectangle these days. So this is for your Instagram. Uh, for your Facebook, you can use a square. You get you can use six by six, use eight by eight, one by one, two by two, just just like that. So you have to understand your inches, understand your centimeters. If you read centimeters perfectly well, good. If you read pieces perfectly well, it's good. So that's the way it is. Now, if you come to Photoshop, this is the same thing you are doing. To create a new document, if you go to file and click on new, or you hit your control plus N on your keyboard. It's going to give you uh, this dialog box. Now come to where you have document types. Uh, click on it. You are going to see international paper. Click on international paper. Now on your this size, you will see different paper size. The same way it is in your um, what is it called Corel draw. So if you are designing inches, these are your measurements. If you are designing inches, later to export. Uh, to fit is the same thing you get put your measurements here then what you do is uh click click on okay and that will be it okay so this a4 this a4 size so that would be it that's just the the little basis of how you get your measurements when, while you are designing you get so if you are designing your business card with uh with photoshop it's the same thing just uh, three by three point six by two point three inches. It's the same thing. Enter your measurements and you are good to go. 
So that's just that's just it. I am convinced you've gotten value from this class. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.